Hello, this is Karen and today I wanted to show you a super quick project for anyone wanting to learn to sew. I've got myself a pack of fat quarters from the local Spotlight store here in Australia and I have popped the measurements up top for you as well in case you wanted to use some scraps that you may already have in your stash. You can see it's so simple and easy to do, a great way of practicing sewing straight lines, which I need lots of, um, but I've simply cut the fat quarter in half so you can see here um, this is the bundle that I got from the spotlight store and all I'm doing simply is folding it in half and cutting it down the middle and that will give me two burp cloths to use. You don't have to be precise with this which is why it's so great for beginners. So you can see this is just a cheap, a cheap terry cloth that I got from the local Kmart store it was only two dollars I think and this will be the backing for the baby cloth. So you can see I'm very quickly just cutting at the sides here. I have naturally speeded this up to avoid you the pain. And I do apologise that it's not quite on camera, but I am getting better at practising my YouTube tutorials. So you can see here, this was the first one that I've managed to cut. And what I'm using now here is just some quilting clips, actually. You can, of course, use pins or you could use some um, spray glue, whatever works for you. What I would suggest, though, is actually having two markers along one side because we will be sewing this inside out. And then that will allow us to make sure we remember to keep a gap to put the fab fabric through on itself. So here I'm doing the second one. As I said, very rough cut. Um, if you've got a rotary cutter, this would probably work a lot better for you. And again, I have just speeded this up to save you the, the pain of watching. Um, but with any stitching, I would absolutely recommend you do the back stitch first of all, just to get uh, a good grip into the fabric. And as you can see, right sides are together. So you can see the top of the fabric at the moment is the wrong side. So keep the fabrics right side together. I did only do a few, a few little clips as reminders and to keep the fabric steady. But as I mentioned, I did put two on one side and that's really important. So you'll see me coming up to that now. And that's a reminder for me to just do another quick back stitch. And then I've got the gap ready. Now, because of the bulk of the fabric, always cut corners as I've done here. And also try and cut some of that um, extra fabric that you've got with that seam allowance as that's not going to be needed and it is going to make it more bulky when we do the final stitch. So again, it, this is speeded up, so I hope it's not too fast for you. And one of the other things I would say is don't do what I do, shortcuts. Always iron your fabric first um, and you would get a better finish. So I'm just using a big knitting needle here just to poke the corners, um, try and get it all right side together. And then you can see here where I've actually ironed it very close on the gap um, and that will make for a neater finish as we sew it through. So I'm doing exactly the same as I did before, but this time I'm going to sew all four corners, uh, sorry, all four sides up tight. And this will give a nice finish for the cloth and it will seal up that edge that we did actually keep open. So here we go. Keep your needle in as you're turning it around in the corners and another back stitch at the end. And then this is your finished product. So again, I would recommend ironing first. Always pre-wash cotton as well, just to allow for that shrinkage. Shouldn't need to do for the terry cloth. Hope you have fun. Enjoy. See you next time.